What's up guys? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Today we're going to be taking a look at Polygon again with a little update and its recent price action, along with some talks about news and fundamentals and with a price prediction for the short and the long term as well. Before we begin, we'd just like to say thank you so much to everyone for their continued support, the likes and subscribers, Patreon and YouTube members, and all your amazing comments and sharing. We appreciate you all so much at the channel and we've been growing amazingly fast recently, so thank you so much. Our community has been growing amazingly well recently and it's all down to you guys, so thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos and turn on bell notifications as well. Also, if you're interested in even more info, we're offering Patreon and YouTube membership for coin calls and more in-depth research of altcoins with massive potential. All the links are in the description and in any instance, you can sign up to our free Telegram via the description as well. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. So as we can see, a little update on Polygon in the past few months or so. It's been on an absolute tear recently. This year, in particular, Polygon has been running up massively at around two cents at the start of the year here, as we can see. It actually ran up around 3,100%, which is a massive, massive run, obviously. And this was obviously off the back of the Coinbase listing, which is quite renowned by now. Polygon did start to move up with the problems with Ethereum and also Ethereum moving up itself. Because Polygon is a layer two solution, it's designed to alleviate some of the issues for Ethereum in terms of its low throughput and currently its lack of sharding. Polygon does this with side chains, which essentially means that the processing load is shared across multiple chains rather than just one, meaning that the blockchain, the power of the blockchain and the speed and the transaction volume is all increased massively along with reducing the fees a lot as well. We recently did some swaps on QuickSwap, which is on Matic Network. QuickSwap is a DEX that was launched on Polygon and the fees were 0.0001 Polygon or Matic token per transaction, which is essentially less than cents, which is incredible when you consider that Ethereum's transaction, um, Ethereum smart contract fees for transactions currently are $30 to $40 each. And that is obviously prohibitively expensive for many people. And this is something that Polygon is trying to alleviate. Polygon also allows people and pro allows projects and developers to launch uh, projects on Polygon. And it's essentially on Ethereum, but it doesn't have any of the drawbacks of Ethereum currently as Matic Network has really low fees and really, really fast transaction times, which is obviously incredibly important. And we think this is one of the reasons why Matic recently has been performing so well. As we can see on the back of this Coinbase listing, it did run up massively and then seemed to range seemingly between the 30 cent to 50 cent range for some time. But then off the back of the market wide correction, which didn't actually seem to affect Polygon too much. It obviously ran up massively as QuickSwap broke onto the scene, which has been getting a massive amount of transaction volume. And Polygon itself has actually did actually flip Ethereum last week for total transaction volume on its network, which is absolutely incredible. And we do believe that these are all contributing factors that led to this recent massive upward surge for Polygon. It basically double bottomed out here, just like most cryptocurrencies did. And then it actually ripped past its all time high and ran all the way to around 95 cents here before a recent correction. We actually called this recent correction in our last video, and it seems as though Polygon's price action has continued downwards as a result. As we can see, we put a support and resistance line here where we thought if it bounced off this, then it would most likely continue to the upside again with more momentum. But it does seem to be dropping and, and respecting the channel that we've drawn in. So we could quite clearly see now if we drop this support and resistance line down to here, we can see that there is actually much more strong support and it looks as though a double bottom may have formed here, in which case we could see the price action return to the upside if it breaks out of this channel. And this is something that seems more and more likely as the price action retraces. Obviously, when you have a massive pump like this past the all time high, the first thing that people want is for the price action to continue to the upside. But this isn't always feasible. And it's much more likely that in the long term, you definitely want the price to retrace and consolidate somewhat before continuing upwards. Because once you start to get parabolic activity in the market, that's when you know that things aren't sustainable and the corrections to the downside would be much more severe. For example, if Polygon continued to run and ran all the way into the $1 range all the way up here to around $1.30, the correction to the downside would be very, very significant because 
that this is obviously not a sustainable price action. But we're quite glad that this price action is coming down again here and consolidating nicely in this sort of area. We think that Polygon, it does have the potential to retrace around 50% from this all time high, which would probably bring it down to around here and maybe it'll find support on some of these levels of resistance here at around the 60 cent mark. And if that was the case, we could definitely see Polygon coming back up again like this, retesting its all time high in the, in the next few weeks or month or so, and then heading to the upside again. We've stayed on this, on this channel multiple times now that we believe Polygon is going to perform exceptionally well in this bull run. And as we can see from the previous video, we actually drew in this trend line here, which seems to be actually playing out fairly well currently. This is something that we do believe that we'll see for Polygon because it had such a crazy euphoric run in the space of a few days. It actually ran upwards. Let's just check how much it ran here. It ran 165% in a few days here, which is obviously a very, very significant period. And now it's had a nice, decent chance to cool off. We're getting more bullish on Polygon again, and we do believe that the bottom the short term bottom here may be coming in. Obviously, this support and resistance is looking a lot stronger now that it's been respected in these two levels. And it could be likely that Polygon would be heading up again in the future if that's the case. If Polygon can break out of this trend that we've drawn here, where it seems to be trending downwards currently in the channel, we'll definitely see Polygon moving up again in the future. And it's getting a huge amount of use, so there's no reason to suggest that this isn't going to be the case. Considering the transaction volume on Polygon is currently around the same as Ethereum, which is insane considering how big Ethereum is. And Polygon's market cap is actually around 100 times smaller than Ethereum currently. We can obviously see there's a huge discrepancy in price there. And we definitely think that Polygon is going to head up into the $1 to $2 range in the next few weeks as a result. Once it's had its cooling off period here, we could easily see Polygon coming back up, retesting this all time high, maybe pull back, pulling back and retesting structure here, and then moving up into the $1 to $2 range. If we set a short term price target of around $150, and then we could have a small correction again before moving to the upside. We do really think that Polygon should already be in the $1 to $2 range because it's so undervalued considering what it's offering. Layer 2 solutions for Ethereum are becoming more and more popular and we do think that Polygon is the best one currently, along with Cartesi, which is another project that we're invested in. We strongly believe that this is going to go to the upside soon, so our short-term price target would be $1 to $2, and we do think our long-term price target this bull run we strongly believe that Polygon could easily hit $5 and our target personally is around $10 per token or beyond simply because Polygon is just so undervalued right now considering what it's offering and in comparison to Ethereum, it's very, very undervalued. So a $10 price target for Polygon would be around 40 to $50 billion market cap, which we don't think is very unreasonable considering that Ethereum is probably going to be well over $1 trillion and most top 10 cryptocurrencies, <coughs> excuse me, most top 10 cryptocurrencies, including um, Polkadot, Cardano, Chainlink, they're all going to be in the hundreds of billions of dollars. So considering what Polygon's offering, how much use it's getting, we do believe that Polygon could see a $10 price target this year. So that's our update for Polygon, guys. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, please let us know down in the comment section below. If you'd like to support the channel more directly, please sign up to our Patreon via the link in the description below or sign up to YouTube membership by hitting the join button right next to the sub below this video where you can get access to our private Discord. We're going to be offering a host of additional benefits, including calling calls and the higher tiers get one-to-one -one access with us personally, as well as a look at your personal portfolio. Our daily research of cryptocurrencies with massive potential and not to mention a 100x portfolio that we're currently constructing. So please take advantage of that there. Don't forget to get your two free stocks with Weeble by depositing $100 using the link in the description below as well. Also make sure to hit the like button as it helps us out so so much so if you're a fan of the channel please just go ahead and tap the like button now it takes like two seconds thank you so much. Currently only 10 to 20 percent of our viewers are subbed as well and we'd love to see our community continue to grow so if you're watching the content guys and you really like it then please just hit the subscribe button so you can get notified of all of our videos. We're going to be re releasing three or four videos a day from now on and we'd really, really appreciate all your support. So please just hit that sub button as well. You can sign up to our free telegram in the description as well. We're going to be posting all of our content there. We're really hoping to grow our community there. It's completely free. We've got around 4,500 subscribers now. So if you're a fan of the channel, just go ahead, get involved in the telegram. We want to get as many people in there as possible. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. We are... Crypto Maximalists.